I thought I was gonna get some eggs. She said, nope, not today. So. Good morning guys. How are y'all doing today? So doing a voiceover because I forgot to do an intro. But today is the day, at least that day was when we recorded this, that we were going to get the garden tilled. But first we had to take care of a few things and then we had to get the tiller off the back of his Jeep. So wasn't fun not looking forward to picking but looking forward to getting the garden together so we can finally start planting so we borrowed the tiller from my brother-in-law at the main homestead and we only have it for this one day so we have to get this done but i saw one today i'm gonna see about getting that maybe it was reasonable price it was under 300 dollars. but anyway let's get busy with this garden ahead it's hope it's getting clear the more I think of all the tough times we survive the more it makes me smile so I decided to speed this up a little bit if only we could work this fast when we're out here in the garden but anyway, the chickens enjoyed their tree. They didn't like some of the different grasses, so that was interesting to see. They only liked certain ones, but the weeds that we're pulling right now, they nibbled at them, but now they really didn't eat them. Do. So why do we do this day? Are we moving to here? And I slow. did give some to the chickens as a be. nice treat.
So when you see me walk off, it's because I was taking some of those weeds to the chickens and I stood there for a little while and watched them and they, some liked them and some did not like them. They prefer the little grassy area that's right by their uh, chicken coop. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I think we're gonna call this till death do us part get it till this tiller really beat him up he was so exhausted when he got done doing this I think at this moment he thought, hmm, she just weak. I'll just do it. Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy.
How about I just grab the front? Yeah, let's just grab the front. That stuff right there chuck at the top with that grass on it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's not loose, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just healed up the raised bed here. This raised bed was here when we moved into this home. Everything else we added. So last year, I grew, well, we grew corn and okra in here, and it did well. We didn't know how it was going to do because it is a clay soil. Um, certain areas do have this uh, leaf compost right here that we have in the raised bed that's right around me but not a lot so what I did was before I grew in here I went and bought some uh, clay breaker from Lowe's and I bought about I don't know four or five bags and put it all throughout there and he tilled it up and then I planted the corn and the okra in there and it did really well. I did not expect for it. Now, I will say, the okra did well. The corn came up. What happened? It just... Yeah, it, everything started burning. Because we have no trees. Like, all the trees are cut out. So, like I was saying to him before I started recording, y'all don't really eat okra. So, I don't like the grow stuff we're not going to eat. But I eat okra, I just don't eat a lot of it. But we love to eat okra corn and tomatoes together. So he was saying, well, if, it can, if we can grow it, then I can can it and we can eat it that way. So that is the goal for this raised bed right here. He was tilling. This is rotten wood. We knew that eventually it would give way, but when the tiller hit it, I guess the soil just kind of pushed it on over so um, he got some T posts and I guess he's you bracing it I know y'all probably say my husband's not a talker but he is he's just camera shy I guess but you are a talker you talk my head off anyway and funny oh it's a bug So eventually, <clears throat> what are you gonna get? What you gonna do to it eventually to? Um, don't know yet. The two by fours or something. I don't know. What is this, plywood? Is this plywood? Yeah. They put plywood up here? Yeah. Okay, so this is some kind of plywood. Oh yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, we could replace it with plywood, I guess. I don't know. Replace it again? So I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure that out. 
when we get to it. So just getting some extra weeds out of it. I'm not gonna get them all out and that's fine. We just wanted the ground to be broken. Oh, and then I just ordered some rice husk, which will be in on Monday. So once that come in, then I will start putting amendments in each of the beds. And I know I probably could have um, done that and then tilled all of that in. But the tiller, we had to use it when we could use it here. So I can just, once I put it down, I'll just rake it into the beds and get it down in when I make our rows. Because I'm assuming that he's going to do... No, are you going to do mounds? I didn't do mounds last year. That could have been the reason, too. I didn't mound anything when it came to the corn. I just, like, made my rows and planted the seed. So maybe we'll try to mound it and see if it'll do better that way. So now he's about to blow the area and we're going to be done for the day. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the channel. And remember, if you prep today, you'll be prepared for tomorrow. Drop that seed today and grow your food tomorrow. It's not promised to you in these grocery stores. And the quality sucks anyway. So. So we got some more staples because we need to tack down this black tarp a little bit better than we have it right now because I tripped a couple times on it. They did not come for any storms that I saw in my weather report, but you guys, that was some rolling thunder. So we are definitely gonna be done. We're about to head out to the main homestead, take the chiller back. No, I haven't opened them yet. So this is what we are working with, you guys. I'm so excited about it. And I get nervous every single time I'm doing a garden because you just don't know if it's going to produce. And if it does produce, will it make it through because of too much rain or too much sun? You just don't know. So, I gotta get that tarp out of there, but. Jesus this has all been tilled. And now my husband is throwing out the stakes for us to hammer in so we can like, these little end pieces that I've been tripping over here. And over here. Thanks for joining us. I hope that you stick around. I hope you subscribe, hit that like button and share us out with your family and your friends. So it has totally started raining on us. 
and yeah, the Lord is saying, enough, rest my child, you've done enough for today. Just loving 